Onegashimasu. Hey guys, Sensei George here. Today, you're going to be doing a class with me, uh, learning a technique called Mushadori. This video is for one of the new members of the United States Nip Academy named Greg. Uh, I'm showing him one of the techniques that we have and our basics, but then also showing it how we may do it at different levels of uh, application. So here's the kihon of how to apply Mushadori to seize a warrior. Onegashimasu. Okay, so to break this down, what happens is that the opponent comes with a sleeve grab. Note that he has his same side leg forward to have control with this. If he switches his legs, he doesn't have balance. As I go to step and pull this way, it's setting up. He is going to move with it because he can't brace for it. If it puts him forward, he can stop me from pulling him and then we have to go through the technique. So, he grabs my sleeve. From here, I raise my hands up. I shoot them in and I move simultaneously. So it's up step in. This causes his elbow to bend. From here, my arm scoops down along his elbow, claps together, and note that I drop my hips as I go to do this. Boom. And then I stand up, almost like an attention, and bring my hands up. This points his elbow up to the sky. When the elbow is up to the sky, I then come for this kick. So the kick is using my heel to the top of his calf muscle called the cobra. I blast that out, step back, and as he falls, my left leg comes behind him, my right leg shoots over, and I squeeze everything together. Oh, check out the back side real quick. Note that my back leg is parallel with the opponent. And it's for this technique, I would strongly suggest dead toes. Okay? What that means is that your toes are not on the ground. In case he rolls back towards you, it won't break your toes. If I'm fighting it and his weight goes on top, he could damage my toes. So I go to dead toes from this posture. My hands are still clapped together. And then what I begin to do is I look over my left shoulder and twist. This will roll the arm out of the socket from this posture here. Looking over and twist. Cool. From here, you can do a number of techniques to dismount. My favorite is to push his arm down and do an elbow as I roll over my shoulder. So this makes it hard for him to see where I went when I got up. And if there was someone else coming, I can get out of the way. Someone else was trying to come up to kick me in the head, I rolled as I do another strike to prevent him from getting back up and chasing me. So, showing that one more time, step by step. Sleeve grab, hands up, shooting in, stepping forward, dropping your hips, clapping your hands together, raising back up in attention, using your closest leg to kick his leg. That shoots it out, come offline, come over this way, and then break the elbow. He'll roll the arm out of the socket from this posture. Now, that's how to do it from a sleeve grab. Now we're gonna go to do it from kamuch. Kamuch is the seizing strike in which we come with right hand high, left hand at the sleeve. So now we're in this posture and we need to get Mushadori. I don't wanna do Mushadori to the straight arm because he can control my distance with this. If I try to reach into there, he can push it out. I can do some stuff, but then it's better to attack on the inside, not the outside. So I'm gonna attack the arm on the outside. So, grab my sleeve. So from this posture, when I start moving around, his arm has the ability to move. If he's still trying to compromise me and prevent me from moving in with that, that's something that I may have to address by breaking this down and then stepping in. I'm hooking his elbow with my uh, hand and scooping it forward as I move in, stepping to the outside and getting Mushadori. From this posture here, I then kick the calf muscle again, blasting him out, step, block, Roll the arm out the socket. So that is doing the technique from Kumiuch. Now, here's another key point that I want to put in is that you can take your uh, mind, uh, the opponent's mind off of you while doing this. So when I come into Kumiuch, this hand is still a little free. If he sees this, he knows something else is going on. So what I want to try to do is knock his uh, kazoosh back with this. I come in, pop him in the face, and then come for the technique. One more time. This bends him forward. I pop him in the face. He leans back. I move my whole body. Get kumiuch. And I'd say the most complicated part about this is the footwork. From here, it's one, two. I did the strike. He's leaning back. Now I need to snake everything. I go parallel and deep with him. From here... 
I go to face the same direction as him. As I then shuffle step my whole body behind him, which then sets me up for the kick. Now, when you go to kick the guy, sometimes his knee may bend forward. Not a bad thing. You can pin him to the ground, which sets you up for other docking taijutsu from that posture. So by pinning the knee to the ground and following up with strikes, you have that option to come in. Now, kumiuch, the seizing strike, while this is a great posture to do the technique from, people find it hard to say that that's a posture that may come up in self-defense. So instead of saying, I'm waiting for this bad guy to come up and grab me and kumiuch to try and throw me or take me down, we gotta think a little bit more open-minded. Anytime someone provides both their arms and they're trying to move into us, we can make our opponents go into Kamuch. There's this stance called Kose no Kamai. Yeah? From Kose no Kamai, we can move into that pretty easily from a lot of other stances. So I have my hands up and my opponent comes in to try to grab me, and I use Kose no Kamai to open his hands up. From here, getting into Kamuch is pretty easy. So one more time. Clear strike, I can go in for Kamuch. Yeah? But now we're gonna set up Mushadori from this same opening. He comes in, clear up, I strike him to stun him a little bit. This hand comes up from behind, rolls his head back. As he starts to lean back, his elbow will open up and bend as we need it appropriately. From there, it's the same takedown we've been doing. So one more time, this, this head tilt and getting him to lean back exposes that elbow. And that's what we're trying to fish for to get the technique. So he comes in, I clear this open, strike the face, as his face leans back, his elbow bends where I need it to. I lock it up. Very key point is make the elbow point towards the sky. With the elbow at the sky, I can do the technique. If the elbow is leaning forward, he can do counters. Get it to the sky. Lock these hands together. Blast the leg. Take him down. There's just one other pin that I like to do from here. I dig my one knee into the side of his neck, my other knee into his ribs. I lock this up together, and then while pushing down, I'll lift up and create a lot of pain there. This isn't one that'll like finish in a sense of like breaking his arm or anything, but it has a lot of pain to say, you know, stop resisting and to move from that posture. Cause I can get from here, stick my arm to the armpit and then easily roll him over for another type of control posture. Yeah. So this is something that you can work from here. So those are three variations of Mushadori for you guys to work on. Uh, he comes in with the sleeve grab. Kihon, uh, we're we way back in the shade real quick. He grabs, hands up, come forward, snake, kick the leg. Starts in Kamuch. Buckle, strike the face, coming over, seeking uh, Mushadori again, kick the leg. The last one, he's coming in to grab for any type of grab, striking the arms up, stunning him, and then getting the elbow as needed into Mushadori and kicking the leg. Now. Kicking the leg is just the main takedown form for this uh, from the Kihon. There are a variety of ways you can take someone down. You don't even have to go down with them. If this were a self defense situation, he comes in, I do the same strike, move over, I get there and I dip out. The moment he was falling, that's all I'm using to take advantage to escape the scenario. So that's Mushadori. Hopefully, this lesson proves uh, helpful for you, Greg. And thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about the channel and where it's going. I look forward to sharing more content with you soon. Domenicato gozaimashita.